Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, you are absolutely welcome. In this video, I will be sharing with you a Mancon traditional wedding from the palace. Sit back, relax and enjoy. So the traditional wedding usually starts by the groom getting his hair shaved. And this is done by an elderly prince who has gone through this same whole process before. And shaving his hair is basically a sign of humility. It's a sign of a new beginning. Uh, the old has gone and then the new has come. So now we see how he's been rubbed down with palm oil and also calm wood. Palm oil and calm wood is considered to be a blessing. It's considered anointing in the Mancon culture. Calm wood is basically calling for fertility and also procreation. And the elderly prince who does this is basically a mentor, someone that is going to guide and direct him through this entire process. So after this is done, the groom spends a few days in the palace with the phone of Mankon. And the purpose of doing that is basically to serve him and also to get advice on how to navigate through this new lifestyle. So at this point, the groom is taken to the market square where he is presented to the population, telling them that he is getting married. As you can see, the crowd came out to cheer and also celebrate with him as well. So the prince here is smoking a pipe and this pipe basically shows a sign of maturity. It signifies uh, transitioning from teens to adulthood. So if you look right behind the prince, there is a little boy that is holding a bag with him. And in that bag, he has uh, candy, he has collar nuts, and he also have a few things to give out to the people. So when they go to the market square and they're coming, they're basically sharing those that they do smoke, they give them a cigarettes. And for the kids, they give them uh, little goodies like uh, candy, collar nuts, and all whatnot. But I know this is just for the significance of the traditional wedding we are not promoting smoking because we all know that smoking is not good for the body it causes a lot of health problems so sharing out cigarettes collar nut and candy to the population is basically a sign of generosity is teaching him that he has to serve the people it is not all about himself so that's a really good aspect that i feel it's important that he carries on through his marital home so here the prince is taken to his home and this is usually done at night time and then in the morning we continue the process of palm oil and also calm wood which is all blessings upon blessings we are praying for fertility we are praying for procreation and then the process continues so the groom gets a new name before he leaves the palace so his name is Mbine. Mbina basically means the new beginning in Mankon. It means the new beginning in his life. And his name Bina means a lot to me because that is the day that our dad, his royal highness for S.A.N. Angwafa III passed away. So that name to me is very, very significant. So just like we have days of the week, which are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so forth, in Mankon, we also have days of the week. And Mbine, it's one of those days in our Mankon calendar. And our dad passing away on that Mbine, like I said, means a lot to us. I think it means a lot also to him to have that name. And that Mbine, as from now is considered our country Sunday. Our country Sunday basically means that a Sunday that nobody goes to the farm, everybody stays at home. So that's basically the, the meaning of Mbine uh, when it comes to his name. So 
So from here, we are going to continue the celebration with singing and dancing, songs of welcoming, blessings, and also thanksgiving. If you are enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. Sit back, relax, and enjoy some of the traditional dances. So here again, we take the bride and the groom into the community just to parade with them and show the people that we have a new bride and a new groom in town. And this is the same thing that we did when we were at the market square and the people will come out greeting them and wishing them good luck. And this is just a sign to tell everyone that, you know, someone has gotten married. As you can see, the bride and the groom are running with the crowd. 
and we are all singing, rejoicing, and dancing. Everyone was so happy. It was an amazing event. We really enjoyed ourselves. my sisters for life ladies congratulations for holding everything down i love you guys you guys are so amazing beautiful sisters <laughs>
It was time for gift presentation and the crowd did an amazing job. Please make sure you collect your souvenir. Make sure you collect your souvenir.
ਦਾ ਓਕੇ ਨੇ friends thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy this video as much as i enjoyed sharing this wedding was one of the best events i've attended because i was present with all my seven sisters it's been a while that we all were together all seven of us in most cases we go back home at separate times i was able to see my beautiful mother the queen lady i reunited with my in-laws which was just amazing i saw my mother-in-law and i met friends and family which was just wonderful here comes my beautiful mom and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing and if you haven't turned on the notification bell please turn it on because i'll be dropping some more videos and i will definitely see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching bye for now